So hi, Lukas. Hi, hi. I'm Lukas uh, from House Devices, and uh, we're here at Superbook 23. Uh, we have five new modules. Um, let's start with uh, Ostrava. Ostrava is a stereo mixer with four channels: full stereo, stereo inputs, full stereo send, uh, and stereo uh, return. Of course, I will turn the music up so we can hear something. Ostrava, uh, as I said, has a uh, full stereo auxiliary loop. You can uh, change the behavior of the loop, be it uh, from uh, a regular, most common uh, post fader to uh, pre fader. So you can have a fully wet signal even with, uh, uh, with an auxiliary loop. Of course, manual muting. Uh, balance control, uh, auxiliary send, uh, and uh, Ostrava has two direct inputs, so you can actually mix five stereo signals. Uh, direct inputs are sent directly to the uh, sum outputs. Uh, the second module is uh, Bohumin, which is an expander to Ostrava. It adds a second auxiliary loop, uh, full stereo as well. This one's uh, post faded only. Uh, you've got manual control over the uh, auxiliary loop B sends and uh, two manual controls for uh, auxiliary loops return. So we can turn the effect down all the way or we can turn it anywhere in between. Four inputs for gates for muting the channels of Ostrava. Uh, can the gates go pretty fast? So could you potentially use it like amplitude modulation almost? Or yeah, but yes, and as uh, as the muting is clickless, you can really use it in a musical way. Uh, so that's that's the first two. Uh, the third module is Deva. This is an expander for Timisoara, our multi-effects module. Is that the effect that we're hearing currently? Yes, this is okay. this is Timmy Shara with a ping pong with a ping, filtered ping pong stereo delay. Deva adds two uh, analog feedback loops. You can process your signal uh, externally and uh, have it return to uh, Timmy Shara with CV control over the return uh, volume. Both loops have a switch for negative or positive feedback. Uh, both loops have uh, tilt filters um, and uh, the third, the middle slider is the uh, clock control for the DSP. Let's turn it off. Now Timishara operates uh, as is at 32 kHz as far as I remem remember. Uh, when we engage the switch, this slider can uh, overclock it by twice up up to uh, 64 kilo down to 2 kilohertz only so 16 times slower than the regular DSP clocks for some really nice grit and uh, this one makes even the most regular mm, normal uh, effect into something that can generate really interesting sound especially if you're into some lo-fi and gritty sounds. Of course, everything under CV control, the tilt filters, the, uh, the clock, DSP clock rate, and the uh, return for the uh, feedback loops as well. Uh, and the last two new modules we have is, uh, are both from the uh, Leibniz subsystem, from the 8-bit uh, subsystem we have. Dresno, Dresno 2 actually, this is a uh, vastly improved new version of one of the first modules we released in the Leibniz subsystem. This one features a high-grade 16-bit um, converter, so uh, 
uh, it's much more stable, much less noisy, which makes it uh, enables it to do some stuff that uh, some of the new modules really do require a stable stable signal because we're using uh, we have a 16-bit uh, converter but we, we're only using the uh, the upper eight bits so the the lower ones that tend to change constantly are ignored uh, another uh, new feature is this switch in the middle it switches the range of Tresno the CV range uh, in the upper position it operates uh, within the range of 20 volts peak, peak to peak and in the lower position it operates in a much more useful uh, range of 10 volts peak to peak so plus minus 5 volts and last but not least uh, now Dresno is calibrated for some quantization for some musical quantization if you set this slider up uh, any change at the lowest, uh, the least significant bit will result in the change of a semitone where you to send the attack output to a one volt per octave input. So it can act as a chromatic quantizer as well. And the last module, also from the Leibniz family, this is Rostock. It's a binary data, data pipeline, it's a digital shift register. Well, actually, it's eight shift registers. Uh, what it does, it takes uh, anything that's fed into it via the Leibniz header behind the panel and, and delays it. Delays it by uh, uh, up to 64 samples. Uh, so you can use it for, uh, well, let's start, let's, let's go over the functions first. Uh, it's, uh, you can adjust the number of samples Let's set it at eight. You can, uh, right now the drums we're hearing are sequenced from Rostock via Potsdam. And uh, Rostock is fed a signal from Lipsk and Erfurt. So now we have a constantly evolving uh, rhythmic sequence. But if we want to have something much more repeating and uh, regular, we can engage the loop button. And now Rostock has looped the last eight steps that it has received uh, earlier uh, so you can you can use it for rhythm generation uh, you can uh, scramble the loop with this control uh, right now it's uh, the loop is still being fed back on its own on itself but uh, Rostock performs the XOR uh, logic on the incoming signal so it also gets mm, uh, mixed with the loop signal changing the the sequence everything on the CV control of course the clear button and gate input for the clear button you can uh, CV the length as well with uh, with attenuation available at a push of the encoder uh, so all in all uh, oh, I forgot one thing. These inputs are clock inputs for the shift registers. So this module is actually eight shift registers and you can clock each of the shift registers individually. So you, can, you have a global number of steps, but uh, each bit can have a much longer or shorter sequence depending on the clock you send it. So you can clock each of those individually and have some really, really crazy, crazy stuff, especially with the looping and scrambling. So uh, where are we kind of in the development process of these? We are almost ready with most of them. Uh, Ostrava, uh, Deva and uh, Rostock should be available sometime next month. Uh, Bohumin and Dresno uh, hopefully uh, in the fall, so right after summer probably. And uh, do we have kind of like prices for yeah, all of these? Yeah, we do. Ostrava will be 480, just like Praga. Uh, Bohumin will be 260. Uh, Rostock uh, as well. Uh, Deva is 180 euro. 
and uh, Dresno will be 295 euro. Brilliant. Well, Lucas, um, Tomek's going to play us out, isn't he, with yeah. some uh, more musical demos of, of some of this stuff. So uh, we'll take it over Thanks, to Tomek. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.